Hey there, today I'm going to teach you nine travel tips to consider in a crossbody bag before you pack your carry-on suitcase. When you travel with a crossbody bag, there are certain features that can help you and then some that can slow you up or take up too much space. I'm going to teach you nine features to consider in your crossbody bag to help you think in a different way before you pack. The number one feature a crossbody bag must have is that it's easy to put on. When you're in a hurry, you want to be able to put it on easily. Do you have to adjust the strap when you're touring a city? I prefer skinny straps on my crossbody bags. I recently got several to try and you can tell that all of them have skinny straps. This is the widest strap that I would travel with and I am going to return this Vera Bradley crossbody, um, but I'll talk about that later. You're going to see the features that I do not like and the features that I do like when I'm teaching you these travel tips to go by. The canvas straps that are out there are fantastic. They do not have like a seam, it seems like, on the edges of those straps. I just have not found one that goes with my crossbody bag that I normally travel with. This strap is fine. Those canvas straps will help your crossbody bag blend in with the season or theme that you're going with. Crossbody bags go across your body. They help decrease that pressure in your back but I have a friend who travels with a tote bag that she carries on one shoulder and she's fine with it. I am giving you these tips so that you choose the best crossbody for your vacation style or your vacation adventures. I will enlighten your load with my travel features. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laurie and I am a Houston pilot wife sharing tips for you. Click the bell beside subscribe and you'll never miss one of my free travel tip videos. I'm not going to spam you with emails nor with YouTube. The next important consideration is does your crossbody bag fit under your winter coat? Depending on the season when you travel, you may need for that bag to fit under the coat. Do you want it to fit over the coat? Is your coat a bulky one that you're going to be wearing or are you just going to have a hooded sweatshirt jacket? Would you know if it slipped off your shoulder? If you're visiting the Kinder Market in Germany or if you're going to shop at the gallery in Chicago during the winter, I do not want to have to open my winter coat every time I need to get to my crossbody bag. So my bag fits right under the edge of, or the bottom edge of my winter coat. That way I can kind of lift up my coat and get into my bag easily without having to open my coat every time. Another feature is how easy your bag is to pack in your personal item bag. Remember that most airline tickets that you buy are going to have a free carry-on suitcase and a personal item bag for your allowance or requirements. If you don't know the size requirements, just Google your airline and carry-on size requirements. Airlines get charged thousands of dollars if you are over your limit of bag allowance. So they are sometimes strict about that. I have gotten stopped twice getting onto the actual airplane by flight attendants or a gate agent saying that purse needs to go inside one of your bags. So make sure you have space to fit it if you absolutely have to. One way to get around that that some people have had success for is to wear a fanny pack as your crossbody bag. And you're going to turn that fanny pack around as you're boarding the airplane. I also had one TSA entrance to the line employee tell me that I needed to put my crossbody bag in one of my personal item bags or my carry-on, but that was not a TSA officer. So I do think that that person was uh, incorrect, but just make sure there's room if you need to in the last minute. I usually take out my crossbody purse right after the TSA line and I wear that bag in the airport because I can get to my thin wallet very easily. And then right before I board the airplane, I'll put it back in my backpack and then I might take it out when I'm seated in the airplane. I also want maximum storage with the minimal amount of space. And that's quite a lot to ask for, especially in a carry-on suitcase sometimes. But this Vera Bradley bag has maximum storage, okay? It's got this big pouch on the inside, as well as this one that I've always traveled with. I can fit two eyeglass containers, cases, inside this crossbody bag. I could also fit those in here as well. And the reason I do that is for sunglasses and then my reading glasses sometimes. For an international trip, I like to pack an RFID uh, slash proof strap crossbody bag. And it needs to have maximum storage 
with minimal amount of space that it takes up underneath my outerwear or my active outerwear. I like to touch these bags. So Amazon is a good way to buy things or the Vera Bradley store where you can buy things and then return them if you don't like the space that it offers. I bought this clear bag for our high school stadium through a woman in our neighborhood. I do not like it. So I wish I would have looked at the fabric up close before purchasing it. I can fit my eyeglasses case in here as well as my phone if I need to. And then it's got several pockets that I can easily access while I'm touring a city in a different country. Maybe one day. When a crossbody has extra organization, I do not have to think about how to organize my travel essentials. Therefore, I have space for everything like pockets for my cards so that I don't have to take my wallet. Another feature is versatility. Can your crossbody bag be worn with dressy travel outfits? Does it have some detailing in the strap or the tassel or the zippers that make it dressier? as well as vacation casual style ready. If you want to really bring that fancier uh, purse for like a cruise ship, nice restaurant time, and you have space in your carry-on bag, do it. I do not recommend packing a unitasker, a travel essential gear item that can only be used once. So just test these features when choosing your crossbody. I think I mentioned this when I was talking about straps, but is the strap long enough to go across your body or does it hit your body midway down? Is your bag a thin crossbody or does it add bulk to your outfit? Does it bother you if it's bulky? I traveled my, with my friend Elvie in the city on Instagram and she's a fashion blogger. She traveled with a large tote that only goes over one shoulder and then she had a crossbody purse that was really bulky, but it did not bother her at all. She did no complaining. So it's really about what you don't want to fuss with. I did not want to have to worry about my travel essentials spilling out in the car floorboard when we were jumping in and out of seeing scenic areas. And I did not want to worry about having to carry that bag over one shoulder with it slipping off all the time. Another important feature that will also help you pack less is to consider whether your crossbody bag can mix and match with your travel outfits or your belt or your shoes. I like to blend my outfit patterns or colors of the fabric blush black and gray colored bags are great for blending in with your travel wardrobe if you do need to know what not to wear inside the airplane as far as a travel outfit goes i have a fantastic video about all of the things i wish i would not have worn on the airplane so take it from me and watch that video and learn from me my must have feature in a crossbody bag is that it has an outside pocket for easy access of my phone. Is it easy to stow your phone when not in use? Another feature that's important to consider is a light interior fabric. I like traveling with a light interior bag, especially for when you're in the dark airplane or underneath the seat is dark. Take it from me when I took my uh, big striped weekender bag, it's all black interior and it's sometimes hard to find what you need as a travel essential and it just adds stress that I don't need on my vacation trying to find that item in darkness. There are zippers. Check the magnet to make sure it's a strong one that does not easily separate. I am rough on my bags. Even my everyday purse from Louis Vuitton, I am rough on. It gets thrown onto the cement stadium seats during soccer season, even if it has rained some. I want to live and vacation without stress with my bags. I do not want to walk on eggshells around my bag, even if it's super expensive. Zippers can make or break a travel bag for me. I do not like the zippers of this Vera Bradley one or this Vera Bradley one. So that's why I am returning it. I just, I, I don't think it blends in easily with the fabric. I like to travel with gold accessories, like a gold zipper, for instance. And then um, also I love like zippers that are the same pattern or color pattern of that bag as well. I bought this bag because I 
absolutely love the pattern. I want you to see what I do not need in this crossbody bag. I do not need that many card slots or a place to put coins when I'm out traveling. These features are just things for you to think about so that you can be carefree and only pack what you need. Another feature is the opening of your bag. How easily does your hand fit down into this crossbody? Can you reach those great little pockets that are great for organization? Can you reach into it easily? Does the zipper scratch your hand? I like when the zipper goes around the edges of the top of the bag. This one, they only go to the edges. They don't, the zipper does not curve around if that makes sense. Sometimes it opens wide enough like that and sometimes it doesn't. Check the metal that is on your bag. Does it look like a cheap goldish color or a cheap silver color? If there is a chain section of the bag, Will it pick at one of your sweaters or a nice blouse that you plan on wearing to that restaurant? You want to look at the frayed edges of your strap. Are there threads coming out? Are there loopholes that have not been zipped all the way or sewn all the way? What is the most important feature in a crossbody bag to you? Why do you think that is an important feature? Those are just other questions to ask before you pack that crossbody bag in your carry-on suitcase. If you want to see what I've talked about in the description box below or other travel tip videos, you can click on the iCard or you can click the show more or the upside down arrow to get to the description box. If you want to share this video, you can click the little arrow and share it in an email or on a social media platform. But I really appreciate your time and say hey if we have not met yet and let me know where you're taking your crossbody bag. <laughs> Thanks again.